Tucked away in Potomac is an art gallery decorated by the natural beauty wonders that surround it. After closing briefly due to renovations, the Glenstone Museum reopened back up to the public with an additional 50,000 square feet of exhibition space. If you could have seen the landscape a couple weeks ago, you would say, how did this happen? It's, it's, it's quite amazing. The museum is the brainchild of Mitchell and his wife, Emily Rails. When the gallery first opened in 2006, the goal was to provide the community with an intimate experience of iconic works of art since World War II that would reconnect visitors with their emotions. With the expansion, Glenstone's founders say the goal is still the same, just on a larger scale. Visitors will have the chance to analyze more than 1,300 pieces of art by more than 200 artists. One thing you'll notice when walking through this new addition is the connectivity between nature and art. And as the Glenstone sits on more than 200 acres of land, it's no coincidence that's how the architect wanted it. We really thought of nature here as the first material. We wanted this experience to be about a journey through light and through shadow. And it speaks not only about everyday life, but it speaks about honoring the shadows and praising the shadows as much as you praise the light. And that the two of those provide this journey from one work to the next work. In addition to the expansion, visitors can expect a new arrival hall, two cafes, and a new public entrance. Entrance into the museum is free, starts October 4th, and requires reservations. In Potomac, I'm Mitty Hicks for my MC Media.